she wouldn't give this place the dignity of her death. Happy anniversary, Commander. Hi, I'm Kaylee Bray. I'm an actor, producer, and professional nerd in Los Angeles, California. Crown is a powerful, dedicated warrior with a strong sense of propriety. She's a leader with an expansive kingdom, thanks mostly to her policy of declaring pretty much everyone she encounters a new subject. For their benefit, of course. She takes her responsibility as a ruler incredibly seriously and is always looking out for the welfare of her subjects, especially Chime, her closest confidant. She's even willing to suffer and make sacrifices for them at a moment's notice, whether it's eating some risky food or facing down a terrible threat. The more time I've spent with Crown, the more I'm excited to see the fire lurking under that polished, noble exterior. There's definitely more to her than meets the eye. The more emotional or intense the situation, the harder she'll hold on to that mannerly decorum, but that doesn't mean she's not a real powerhouse when her mission or her team are under fire. I really identify with her dedication to her group. She takes that responsibility so seriously and carries it with grace, no matter the circumstances. And she's not judgmental at all. She takes people as they come and she gives them a real choice in what they do and, and what happens to them. She truly believes what she says about nobility and morality and selflessness. And I think that's unique and it's deeply admirable. That way you won't disturb my kingdom any longer with your endless prattling. Many thanks to the commander and I hope you continue to support the goddess of victory, Nikkei. So you're suggesting I should stay with these weirdo Nikkeis? Surely that can't be safe either. Commander, Kilo here. Happy anniversary. Talos says happy anniversary too. Hey everyone, I'm Tara Sands. I'm an actor based in Los Angeles, California, and I am happy to be here today. Kilo is an interesting character because her performance has been mediocre and she gets reassigned to different squads. She has this robot, Talos. They are inseparable and only she can control him. This helps with her lack of confidence. Yeah, I really identify with how she longs for a place where she belongs and I know that she'll find that on her travels. Uh, yeah, I guess. But when you throw around words like kingdom, I just expected more people. Hey, Commander, happy anniversary. I really hope it is special. Please continue to support Goddess of Victory Nikkei. Has anyone told you that your breath stinks? You can borrow one of my toothbrushes if you need to. My best wishes, Commander, on your year and a half anniversary. Hey, I'm Retna, and I'm a voice actor based in LA, California. You might have also heard me in the game as Scarlet and Vesti. When I'm not working in the booth, you can find me playing on the beach with my dog or maybe going to the theater, which I love and don't get to do enough of. <laughs> so Chime is young and hungry and ambitious, and yet she's still learning the ways of the world. Um, I think she respects Crown, but she also wants to kind of ride her coattails to glory. So it'll be really interesting to see how that all plays out. I think Chime is super cute. She's very different from the other characters that I play in the game. And I appreciate that feeling of being young and hungry and ambitious, especially as a voice actor who runs her own business. You have to have some level of, of that kind of hunger and ambition regardless of your age or experience. I can really appreciate that about Chime. You're not a terribly fun drunk. Thank you, Commander, and I look forward to your continued support of Goddess of Victory Nikkei. Bye. 